Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back and we are, it is time to break down Saturday Slate. Two days before Christmas, one day before Christmas Eve. I don't have long, so I'm going to break this down as fast as I can. We'll uh, kind of fly through some of the games that I have a little interest in. Uh, still some injury news we're waiting on. Uh, but let's hop into this with the Brooklyn Nets. Um, so I don't have much interest here. Um, Spencer Dinwiddie is about it. Um, Rodney Hollis Jefferson had a huge game last night. Um, yeah, he posted the 46.25. He had 21, 11, and 6. Um, he had like, he, he was, he was on, if the game wasn't a blowout, I think he posts like a 60, 70 pointer, which would have been insane, but the game blew out. Uh, and he didn't see his fourth quarter minutes. He only played 24 minutes. Um, so RHJ and, uh, Dinwiddie are about it. If you wanted to know, um, last night, uh, I showed my line while I, when I was doing the, uh, the uh, football video. So here is how that finished up. Um, Kuzma went huge for me in the fourth, uh, as well as uh, Draymond. Um, he didn't go huge, but he he, he exceeded value uh, by about six. Points. Well, I guess technically, if you go by my value, he didn't exceed value. He he came close to meeting value. I guess that that that's good enough. C.J. McCollum sucked, and uh, Shabazz Napier did all right. But that was yesterday's lineup. Um, moving on to the Pacers, we have about one guy that I'm interested in. Oladipo's too expensive for me, even, even against the Nets. Uh, Miles Turner comes in at 6,500. Have some interest in him, but that's about it on this side. Um, uh, maybe a little DeMontis Sabonis, and like I said, always Lance in, uh, GPPs. Moving on to the Magic. Uh, looks like Aaron Gordon and Fournier are still quite, they're doubtful, uh, for today's game. Um... I'm gonna I'm gonna go under the assumption they're out and give an analysis as if they're out. So it's Jonathan Simmons and it's Nikola Vucevic. Uh, and um, granted, if uh, let me let me let me um, let me put a big asterisk. I I like Mario Hazonia tonight, but if Mo Spate starts again and DJ Augustine's if they go with that starting lineup, I like him less. I think he sees less minutes with most baits actually being guaranteed minutes. Uh, so I do like Mario Hazonia under the impression that, or under the circumstances that most baits is not the starter. Most baits is the starter. I kind of like most baits. I'll probably go back to the most baits while he's still 3K. Uh, even at, And people should be off of him after that dud last night. And he gets a better matchup, a little bit better matchup today against Washington. He should draw Otto Porter. Uh, John Wall, unplayable. He is on this weird minutes cap because I... Because it's his first back to back, and I think mainly they want to. Pl I think they want to play him on Christmas Day in uh, on primetime television. I, I think they want to play John Wall then uh, national stage. Everybody will be watching. It's Christmas, uh, so I think they want to play him there. So Wall unplayable. Beal little interest. Ubre uh, more on Fanduel than DraftKings. Um, that's about it. I don't have much interest in Otto Porter, and I don't have interest in Gortat. Uh, so. That is Washington. Moving on to the Bucks. Um, John Henson is okay at 4,300 against Dwight, but I don't love him. Chris Middleton seems to always get the value, uh, so I do love Middleton, but I probably won't end up playing him on DraftKings. Uh, Eric Bledsoe, all right. Uh, Deli, Deli is on a 15 minute. Snell is on a 25 minute, and Terry is on a 10 minute limit. I think. I think that's the limits for them, the minutes limit. So they're all pretty much out of play. Uh, Giannis at 11-1. I like Giannis, but I probably won't play him tonight in anything but GPPs. Moving on to the Hornets. Um, Nicholas Batum, 5,300. I still like him. Probably won't play him, but I do like him. 5,300, like I've talked about, he's running that point guard in the second unit, uh, but still ha hasn't replicated the game he had against Portland. So more in a wait-and-see approach right now, probably, but... Uh, Kemba Walker under 7k he's questionable tonight should be good to go um I yeah I highly doubt he sits uh he 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 hit his head on the floor um yesterday uh and so he is questionable but I, I'm assuming Kemba Walker will be good to go if Kemba sits we go to uh Mark M Michael Carter Williams he becomes the lock of the day at 3300 uh and we should get news on this before lock since it starts at seven o'clock uh so that's the biggest news if if Kemba sits, I will probably be all in on Batum. I'll probably go Michael Carter Williams Batum uh, in cash um, because Batum should handle like all the point guard duties with Michael Carter Williams um, 
kind of assuming the backup point guard almost. He'll start, but he'll be like the secondary point guard. Uh, and luckily, we'll get that. The main problem will be, can Charlotte keep it close without Kemba? Moving on to Dallas, no interest in Dallas really today against Atlanta, except um, Harrison Barnes. Um, you can look at Dirk and Maxi Kleber in GPPs. I'm, I'm not, I don't want to mess with Dirk. Um, but Harrison Barnes at 6,500. Um, if he plays the power forward, Biggs against Atlanta, and Harrison Barnes, skilled, skilled big man um, who pretty much seems to get the value. So I, I'll probably be invested in Harrison Barnes a little bit in GPPs if I do tonight. Um, I am busy, so I don't know if I will uh, venture into much GPPs. I'll probably just be my cash lineup. Uh, moving on to Atlanta, if uh, Dennis Schroeder is out again, he is questionable today. Uh, if Schroeder is out again, um, Isaiah Taylor and uh, Malcolm Delaney get the biggest bump, but uh, I don't think they played that much last night. Yeah, ta Isaiah Taylor played 17 minutes, Malcolm Delaney played uh, 27 minutes, he played the most minutes. So I guess if you're going to play a Hawks guard, point guard, if Schroeder sits, probably go to Malcolm Delaney. Um yeah, we'll play him. I'll end up playing him. Uh, I don't think Bembry saw the boost. Yeah, Bembry actually lost minutes yesterday. Um, so I'll probably go to Malcolm Delaney tonight. If Schroeder and Kemba get ruled out, we're going to have a lot of salary with Michael Carter-Williams. Batum is cheap. It's not like he's expensive. Delaney is super cheap. We've got some other cheap guys coming up here. So that's about it for Atlanta. Moving on to the Bulls. Probably won't go here tonight against the Celtics. I just don't like playing people against the Celtics. Uh, and so I probably just won't go there. If you're going to look at anybody, Justin Holiday and Chris Dunn. Uh, moving on to the Celtics. Um, Kyrie at 88 is a little bit too much for me to have interest. I do like Terry Rozier at 4,100 and Marcus Bard at 53. Uh, if Jalen Brown were to sit out, it gives everybody a huge bump. But I'm pretty sure he's playing. He's probable. And uh, I'm pretty sure he'll suit up and give it a go today. Uh, so that, that kind of knocks everybody. Horford, not a bad price, but probably not going there. Moving on to OKC Utah. Um, I do like Andre Roberson, 3,400. He has been um, meeting value and exceeding. Uh, 30, 18 wouldn't be bad. These 20s are really good, 19. Um, he hasn't killed you in a while, so probably if I play him tonight, it'll be the night that he kills me. Uh, but Andre Roberson, I have some interest in him. This game should be decently close if um, Donovan Mitchell plays, just because Melo and Paul George just haven't been killing it. I like Paul George's price for GPPs at 7100 Um This could be one of those games that he posts like a 60-burger, uh, and he steals all Westbrook's usage. As always, I have interest in Russell Westbrook, and then I have interest in Steven Adams. Granted, he um, he's, he's good to go which he should be good to go to play the 34 minutes, but I would keep an eye on it. It's his first back-to-back -back since he returned from that concussion, so just want to make sure that he's all 100% good to go, no minutes restriction tonight, and uh, he's a nice play at 6,400. Moving on to Utah, the Jazz, uh, Derek Favors at 5,700 is very interesting. Ekpe Udo, minimal interest, but I do have a little bit of interest in him. Donovan Mitchell gives it a go. I have interest in him as long as he um, is not going to be on a minutes restriction or anything like that. Uh, I have an interest in him. If he goes ahead and sits, uh, I do like Alex Burks tonight. So we are halfway through already. Let's quickly continue to move along. We have the Clippers and the Grizzlies. With the Clippers, I have a lot of interest in Lou Williams, Austin Rivers. Both exploded last night. Like them both tonight in a plus matchup against the Grizzlies. Not a plus matchup for pace, but... Uh, against Mario Chalmers, Harrison Bar or Her Andrew Harris, not Harris, Andrew Harrison, and uh, those guys in the front court for the Grizzlies, I'm not really too worried. And Marcus Hall is questionable to play. He might be doubtful to play now. Um, so I have interest in them, but Milos Teodosic should be good to go today. Uh, so that's kind of one of the interesting things that hurts Rivers and. Uh, and Lou Williams, I don't know if it'll hurt um, them that much, and instead it will just hurt Jawan Evans, um, who had one of those egregious Marcus Smart type flops last night, and then got another charge on Harden that probably shouldn't have been a charge, um, and then Harden got ejected subsequently from that, um, but I do like Rivers, I if the value opens up with Michael Carter-Williams and uh, Malcolm Delaney, I don't need to go Rivers. If it doesn't, then I'll probably go uh, Austin Rivers. 
Uh, forwards, no real interest here. Maybe a Sam Decker, Montrez Harrell, but eh. And then DeAndre Jordan. I like DeAndre Jordan tonight, especially if Marc Gasol sits out. So Marc Gasol is doubtful to play today. Um, I don't know why it says the Spurs. They play the Clippers today. So I don't, I don't really know what it's talking about. Um, but he is doubtful today. Um, I, I, I looked at Basque Monster, and he, they have him as doubtful against the Clippers. I don't know why this says the Spurs, but he is doubtful today. And so if he goes ahead and takes a seat, which I'm hoping he does, that opens up some extreme value in Jarrell Martin, Brandon Wright. I'm assuming Brandon Wright and Jarrell Martin will take all of it. I don't want to act like I know what's going to happen, but I think Brandon... I am going to make a strong... I know Jarrell Martin will. Jarrell Martin... Jermichael Green is obviously going to play power forward then. But I think Jarrell Martin and Brandon Wright both become very interesting. I'll probably go all in on Jarrell Martin. Um, should see 20... Oh, he got assigned to the D League. Or the G League. Okay, so if Jamal Martin doesn't get called back up, then I'm all in on Brandon Wright and uh, DeMar Deontay Davis. Um at 3k a piece they don't need that much they're gonna have to play um it just becomes a question if like vince hunter is gonna get minutes is vince hunter gonna get minutes or is ivan rab i would play ivan rab if i was them see what i got in the young guy but um we'll see how lineups shake out um i would assume brandon wright would start i, I will probably go all in on those two uh if Darrell martin does not get recalled from if he doesn't get recalled from the g league so moving on to the pelicans they play the Heat. Uh, Anthony Davis should abuse, and so should DeMarcus Cousin against Kelly Olynyk, Jordan Mickey, and Bam Adebayo. Adebayo is going to have the best chance to stay out there and actually defend, which kind of takes me off of Drew and Rondo. Uh, so I'm on my, all my, my most of my interest is on Boogie and Brow. Moving on to the Heat, Whiteside out, Drogic doubtful. Waiters is is he doubtful? I don't even know what Waiters' injury tag is today. Um, if Waiters sits, then you just got to go all in on Wayne Ellington, Tyler Johnson, Josh Richardson. You just got to go all in. And then you probably you can probably look at Derek Walton because he probably saw minutes. Yeah, he saw big minutes with uh, Deion Waiters going out. He played 24 minutes. So if Deion Waiters sits, I will probably go to, to Derek Walton Jr., play the Michigan boy, because um, Waiters played only nine minutes yesterday. And so if he is unable to give it a go today, let me take a look, quick look. I know I, I need to keep moving through these pretty quickly, but let me take a look at Basque Monster real quick, see if there's anything on Dion Waiters. Um, actually, I'll look at Fantasy Labs. I already have that pulled up on my phone. Um, does not look like there's any news. Does not look like there's any news on Dion Waiters. Yeah, no news on Dion Waiters. So we'll have to wait and see on that. That's going to be difficult a little bit. 8 o'clock uh, tip time. Uh, probably play Josh Richardson anyway with Dion Waiters questionable and just let it ride. If Richardson is out, or I mean if Waiters is out, Richardson would boost. If Waiters is in, Richardson's still a good play. Uh, and I'll probably go Derek Walton uh, if, uh, wait, if Waiters is ruled out. Um, and probably, probably go a little Wayne Ellington. He doesn't need a lot. He's going to shoot... So it becomes really interesting if he sits. Um, I have interest in Mickey, Adebayo, and I don't have interest in Olenek, but I have interest in Adebayo and Mickey. Uh, the question is, can the Heat keep it close? I do like Derek. That's why I love Derek Walton um, if Waiters is out, because he's going to play regular minutes, and then he's going to play blowout minutes. All right, four games left. Got to keep moving for the uh, Nuggets. Not a whole lot of interest here. Gary Harris and Jokic. Jokic, 7,600 is is egregiously underpriced but are you gonna get are you going to get 50 point Jokic or are you gonna get 35 point Jokic like 35 point Jokic tonight would not be bad but it's not gonna get you there like against the Warriors so I'm gonna need I'm gonna need to a little bit of clarity here on Jokic make sure he's gonna play 36 if he's gonna play 36 37 minutes against the Warriors I'll probably load him up and we'll rock and roll with a little Nikola Jokic tonight other than that, Gary Harris, interesting, and Torrey Craig, but not probably not going there. Moving on to the Warriors, uh, Zaza Pachulia and Sean Livingston are questionable. Um, and so I like Draymond at 72, but I'll probably be playing Durant tonight in a plus uh, matchup against the um, Nuggets. 
And other than that, that's probably it. It's probably Kevin Durant, Draymond Green, and that's about it. So moving on to Minnesota, my one of two of my favorite plays that I probably won't even get to play tonight, Jimmy Butler and Carl Anthony Towns. Two of my favorite plays tonight, uh, but I don't even know if they're going to make it in my cash line, but I love them tonight. Um, I love Jimmy Butler's floor. Uh, I think he gets you 40 tonight. He's had two bad games in which the two games that I played him in, um, but I do, I, I love his flow. I love his bounce back tonight against the, uh, against the Suns. He's not 18 times. He shot five for 18 against them. Uh, and so I think he puts up a better game tonight. And then Carl Anthony Towns absolutely exploded against the Suns, posting 56 points. I guess that's not absolutely exploding, but he, but he shot efficiently, uh, from three. And so I, I like Cat tonight at 9,500. Moving on to Phoenix, Mike, Mike James is going to be released, um, so it, it is really the cannonball show now. It's Isaiah Cannon, um, but I don't really like him. Alex Len, it should be a Tyson Chandler night tonight, I believe. But um, I, I don't know if I want to play Tyson Chandler. I mean, he's been all right, but he hasn't been anything special, so I probably won't go there. All right, two more games to go. Portland. Portland and L.A. So we have uh, Damian Lillard officially out for this game. CJ McCollum, Shabazz Napier saw price increases. McCollum sucked. If we don't get value, I'll play Napier and McCollum. If we do get value, I won't play them. Um, that's kind of as simple as that. If we get that extreme value, I won't play them because it's all at the guard spot. Uh, I kind of like going back to Evan Turner tonight. He kind of disappointed last night. I mean, he he wasn't a super bust, but he did disappoint. And so I do like the idea of going, of going back. Alfred Caminu. Saw a boost in his salary uh, and had a bad game, uh, so don't dislike him for turn for GPPs. Mo Harkless re-entered the rotation for 19 minutes, but didn't do a whole lot with it. Um, Yusuf Nurkic had about the most useless game, played 24 minutes and put up nine fantasy points, so probably not looking at him. All right, so three more to go. Lakers. Brook Lopez remains out. Believe he's out for a while. KCP allowed to play this game, so I have interest in two guys: Brandon Ingram, Kyle Kuzma. That's it. Kyle Kuzma played 40 minutes last night, 43 minutes, 40 against Houston, 40 against Golden State. Eh, I'm kind of worried that Kuzma does not. I'm, a, I'm I'm concerned that he plays like 31 tonight, and then that concerns me in him reaching value. But I'll probably go ahead and roll Kyle Kuzma out again tonight and uh, live with the consequences if they decide to do something funky and sit him. Moving on, Spurs and Kings, the final game of the night. We have uh, Kawhi Leonard should uh, be good to go uh, tonight, but still on that minutes restriction. So I'm not interested in anybody tonight on the Spurs. Pretty much an X out for me, and maybe LMA, but pretty much an X out. Moving on to the Kings, once again, another X out, because everybody's healthy except De'Aaron Fox and George Hill. Actually, actually, I thought George Hill saw a huge price increase, but he did. He's still 4,400, so I, I could I could play George Hill. He's had some days of rest. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll probably play George Hill. He's 4,400. De'Aaron Fox is out. Yeah, Okay, okay. George Hill. George Hill it is. 4,400. We'll wait on the value, but George Hill, 4,400. Going to be a nice play, and that's probably as far as I go. Maybe a Garrett Temple. I'm not going back to Frank Mason. That was just a nightmare that night. I don't know what happened to him. Like, what? why did he play six? Like, why didn't he see a boost with no De'Aaron Fox? Like, he saw no boost. So, until I see an actual boost, we're playing George Hill. We're going to ride and die with George Hill tonight, probably, because I'm assuming most of that value. I'm assuming Kemba will play, so we won't get that value. And um, I'm assuming, what's his face? The Dennis Schroeder will also play, so we won't get that guard value. So it'll be a George Hill, Shabazz Napier type night. But, guys, that's going to do it for the video. Sorry I had to kind of rush through it and uh, give kind of some abbreviated opinions. But that's going to do it, guys. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.